It makes a noise if you're an international couple here tonight. Woo! Yeah, a couple of you guys, yes. What's it? Where are you from, young lady? Italy. Italy? And the gentleman? Bulgarian. Bulgarian and Italy? Wow. <laughs> How did this happen, sir? Yeah, how did you enter Schengen? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you found a different way to enter Schengen, you know? <laughs> but very nice, you've been together for two years now. How did you guys meet in Italy, in Bulgaria? Germany. In Germany? Very nice, I like it. Which part of Germany? Eastern part. Eastern part? Where? Dresden? Close. What, what the fuck were you guys doing there? <laughs> Why were you even in Chemnitz, sir? B the Bulgarian guy, I understand. Anywhere is better than Bulgarian. <laughs> but the Italian, I don't... Where are you from in Italy? Milan. Milan? <laughs> you traded Milan for Chemnitz? <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of fetish is this? Yes, it is. What is there to do in Chemnitz? What is, what did you guys, what's your name, the Bulgarian guy? I'm Theodor. Theodor, and the young lady? Michaela. Michaela and Theodor. What were you guys doing in Chemnitz? I'm studying in university. Ah, very nice. What kind of studies? What do they study in Chemnitz? I study informatics. Okay, and yourself? Uh, I was on uh, Erasmus. Oh, Erasmus, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> nice, so you guys met during Erasmus, and then you were like, let's move to Berlin, or how did you guys end up here? We're visiting. Are you visiting? Oh, you still live in Chemnitz? <laughs> we get one trip a year out, okay? Uh, we want to see normal life. Where do you guys live now? Uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> Much better place. Much better place. No. Well, kids, not, not hard to beat Chemnitz, okay? It's, uh, where are you guys now? Bochum. Bochum? <laughs> That's, that's so far outside the ring, I've never heard of it, okay? Uh, and what, what do you guys do in Bochum? It's, man, you guys really have a thing for like... It's the Bulgarian guys, I don't know, I want to be closer to my... I, I left Bulgaria, but I still want to feel suffering, you know? This is... What is there to do in Bochum? Has anyone ever been to Bochum other than them? No. Makes sense, okay. I, have you been to Bochum, the Argentinian? Yeah, I was a What? Aubert. Ah, oh, okay. okay. How, how was Bochum from your experience? A little bit boring. <laughs> a little bit boring? And you guys? Yeah, boring. Not like Berlin. Not like, what do you guys do in Bochum? Do you work or what? what? Study. Yeah. Oh, you still study? <laughs> it's a full-time career, yes? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a PhD student or? Uh, not yet. Uh, good. <laughs> Keep going. One day you will finish studying, okay? I have confidence in you. <laughs> and what do you do in Bucharest, Mihai? Tell us. Well, I work in uh, learning and development. Learning and development? And are you learning and developing? <laughs> no, not really. I'm not really. <laughs> the ChatGPT. The very nice. And, and you have brought your friends from... Are you guys also visiting? All of you guys? Or some of you live here? Uh, two of Actually, us. it's my wife. Yeah. Your wife, congratulations. You've made the leap. How long have you guys been married for? Nine years. Nine years. Nine years. Wow, round of applause. <laughs> Nine years. Damn, that is... That's a lot. What's the secret? <laughs> I don't know. I, I just shut up, yeah. <laughs> and I do what I am told, okay? Because I my, my purpose is to learn and develop, okay? <laughs> and luckily for me, my wife knows everything, so I can always learn and develop. What's it? <laughs> nice, and how did you guys, did you guys meet in university and on the streets of Bucharest or? The streets of Brela. Streets of Brela, okay, this is, a, this is a love made in Brela. It lasts for nine years at least, okay? You have a guarantee of quality. And uh, what, when you come, have you been to Germany before? First time, what was the biggest shock you had when you came here to Berlin? A shock? Uh, that I, uh, I've learned uh, German in uh, high school. You learned German in high school? But I don't know anything now. Yeah, we use Turkish here. That's uh... a... <laughs> a lot of people don't tell you that, okay? No, they don't. When you find out, you're like, uh, you know, the, the first cup of kebab you get, everybody's like, uh, oh, Arkadash, how are you? <laughs> Very nice. Yes, you've learned German in school and you don't get it here? It doesn't work? No. Oh, interesting. Well, I wouldn't know either because I'm, I've learned most of my German from the Uacht, okay? And uh, it's mostly I learned from the guy that is there at 9 p.m. every night masturbating. And I only know, I, I only know one, uh, one word and that's, yeah, schnell, schnell, schnell. Very nice. You've been here for how many days now? Uh, three. Three? What did you guys see? Did you guys see the wall? Yeah. Parts of it. Yeah. Parts of it. <laughs> 
It's a big wall, guys, in all fairness. <laughs> we don't have all, all week here to fucking see all the wall, you know. The wall, what other things have your friends recommended? Uh, uh, we went uh, today to the Holocaust. Um... Just one thing left, the Kit Kat Club, that's it. <laughs> That's thing. That's the last thing on the list. Okay. <laughs> what else? What, what what would you recommend this year? You've been here for as the most years. You you've grown up here. No, I grew up in Stuttgart actually. Ah, oh, Stuttgart, quite very nice. But you live in Berlin for how long? Two, two and a half years. Two years. And what would you recommend to them? Well, KitKat would be definitely. Uh, you, if you want something Berlin as well, there's uh, this burger place in a toilet. Uh, it's a, uh, it's very Berlin, yes. Burger Meister, yes. You ever wanted to eat out of a toilet? <laughs> well, this is Berlin. You gotta integrate the culture, okay? <laughs> Burger Meister is one thing they should do, yes. Uh, and by the way, you guys live here, yeah? The other Romanians? Yeah, yeah. What's your name, sir? Vlad. Vlad? That is Romanian as fuck. Yes, yeah, doesn't get more <laughs> Romanian than Vlad. You know? It's Vlad or Ceausescu. That's what it is. That's, those are the two ones. And the young lady as well? Wana. Wana. And how long have you guys been living here? Here. Too long. Too long. Yeah. It's like this, this guy's done so much MDMA, the receptors are gone at the moment. They're <laughs> completely burnt. And what do you guys do, Vlad and Wana? You don't want to say, that's fine. I, we all have secrets. <laughs> I teach. I teach very nice. What do you teach? I teach computing and sustainability. Ah, very nice. So no Bitcoin for us then. Yes, this is. Those are very nice. And yourself, Wana? Content creator. Content creator? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm a little bit of a content creator myself. <laughs> are you, at what point are you in your content creation journey? Are you getting sponsorships? No, it's like I'm writing, but I'm not writing. <laughs> you're, you're using ChatGPT, basically. That's why. <laughs> Even you. I, I, I'm at a point in my comedy career where I'm getting offers for uh, ads, uh, content. But if the only offer I got so far is from uh, Lime Scooters. They're like, Dragos, we've seen your TikToks. We would like for you to feature one of our scooters in one of your videos. I'm like, have you seen my TikToks? <laughs> what the fuck am I going to do? Bring the Lime scooter in a basement in Berlin. <laughs> bring it on stage and be like, guys, the traffic out there is horrendous. But thanks to Lime scooter, I was ready to be here on time. And I was ready to jump in on this opportunity, on this deal of a lifetime. But they were like, Dragos, we have a great deal for you. We're going to pay you in travel credits. No. Unlimited travel credits anywhere in Germany, anywhere in Germany from the month of December to the end of February. <laughs> I'm like, unlimited travel credits in the middle of winter on an e-scooter? So I take a scooter, I go to Stuttgart and fuck myself? Or what am I... So I refuse the offer, but I now have a new tradition. Every Sunday, I have a new tradition. I take a lime e-scooter and I throw it in the spree, okay? This is... I recommend it for everybody, okay? It's sustainable. Right, nice. Round of applause for them as well. Well done. Let's get more people to figure out who do we have over here. What about the gentleman with the... Yes, you, sir, with the glasses and the, and the nice shirt, the polo shirt. Yeah. What's your name, sir? Emilian. From? Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Oh, you guys are together. Okay, this is the, this is the Chemnitz gang, yes? <laughs> are you also in Chemnitz, sir? No, I'm studying here. Oh, you're studying here. You know, Romania and Bulgaria, they always come together as a package, okay? And uh, uh, at the end of last year, Romania and Bulgaria, as a package, got the rejected entry into Schengen, okay? <laughs> Do you remember who, who rejected us? Austria, exactly. There was only one vetoing country that said Romania and Bulgaria cannot enter Schengen. The Austrians, the, re the reason was this, uh, Romania and Bulgaria cannot enter Schengen because there are problematic immigrants coming from outside of the European Union through Romania and through Bulgaria and then they're settling in Austria. And uh, problematic immigrants outside of the European Union, uh, outside of the EU, everybody in Romania was very confused because we were like, the only problematic immigrant from outside of the European Union in Romania is Andrew Tate. <laughs> and we handle that, okay? We handle that business. And hey, what do you study, my Bulgarian brother? International business. Nice. Big business? Small big business, bro. <laughs> what, what kind of business do you want to run internationally? Uh, I still haven't figured it out. They haven't got to that part of the course. Yes, this is. <laughs> I think so far you're, you're facilitating their international business. <laughs> Selling education, yes. Very nice. And how long have you been here for? You studied in Berlin? Yeah. And how long did you? More than a year. Where do you live? Did you find an apartment yet? Yes. In <laughs> That's the same as Bohm. I have no idea. 
<laughs> How do you get, it's like, I, you're gonna tell your kids in like five years, when I was in Germany, it took me five days to walk to school. <laughs> and coming from Bulgaria, did you bring your parents to Berlin? No. Uh, Good, leave them there. <laughs> They need to suffer, okay, for you to be successful. <laughs> nice. And who else do we have here? More Bulgarians or the young lady? Me? Yes. Romania. Huh? Do you know them or? <laughs> do you know these Bulgarians? No, no, no. Okay, so Romania and Bulgaria, not always as a package, okay? <laughs> sometimes we reject them. You know, sometimes you have to step on top of them to go forward. <laughs> and what's your name, young lady? Teodora. Teodora. Which part of Romania are you from? Bucharest. Bucharest as well. Which, which? Sector. <laughs> Ponte Limon. That's where the rap happens in Romania. <laughs> if you're a rap artist, you go there. That's you get street cred. And do you live in Romania and then Berlin now, or? Yeah, starting from last year in December. You came here in the middle of winter. Exactly. Damn, that's not that's not good. We didn't have gas then. Okay, this is. <laughs> you bring a blanket from Romania. <laughs> we have a lot of blankets because we have grandmas. Okay, so they. <laughs> And what do you do here, Todora? Payroll manager. Payroll manager? That is the best job if you want to start dating, okay? <laughs> because you look at all the payroll and you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I know, right? Suddenly, <laughs> suddenly people start looking sexy, right? <laughs> you know, you didn't see any attraction at the start of the job, but then you're like, oh. Look at this sexiness here, yes. And, and what kind of company is it? Do you guys, what, what do they sell? I work uh, with eBay. With eBay? Kleinzagen? Mm -hmm. No, just eBay simple. Uh. <laughs> there are different companies. I only know Kleinzagen because I'm trying to sell a bed. It's a <laughs> <laughs> I am trying to sell a bed. If everyone's looking for a bed, it has two mattresses. It's a long story. Um, <laughs> 